Howdy guys, welcome back to the Asylum. For this video, we are going to be doing eight different endings, which is more than I usually show per video. But we already have most of the items we need to get these endings taken care of, so... Same as always, I'll try to keep this fast, I'll try to keep it just kind of at a walkthrough pace. And after these eight endings I'm going to show in this video, that will have covered all the first 16 endings in this game. And then what I'll do for these last three is I'll save these last three for the finale video. And then for the finale, I'll also talk about some of the game spoilers, but I won't talk about any spoilers for this video. I'll just focus on the endings. But we're almost done with this game, which is crazy because I've been playing this game for a long time now. But we are definitely close to almost being done. And uh, what I'll do too, you guys have probably already noticed, but I'll put all the endings I show in the video in the video title. That way, if you're looking for a particular ending, you can just reference the title and know which video I show that ending in. Just keep in mind that ending number two and ending number five both have two pictures for it. But other than that, they all go in order. One, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth, up to number 16. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, there's a couple things I have to do first. Let's load up file number... I think let's start with file number 6. And then just to show it off, because... Uh, I, I have yet to show this off. I know I've talked about this room three videos in a row now. But I still gotta show uh, room 1-3. And uh, for whatever... I could not figure this puzzle out. For whatever reason. Luckily somebody in the comments helped me out. And I, I think what kept throwing me off was... If you go to room 2-14, there's actually sheet music in the trash can. I thought you had to find a way to grab that sheet music and put it right here. I still don't know what that sheet music does in 2-14. Two, two it might be useful if you don't have the app to help you out. But I already have the app, so I have no idea what that does. Uh, let me just plug my tablet in here. Give me one second. So what you actually have to do... All you have to do is just clean the board, which I already talked about, but we're, we'll go ahead and do that first. Just use the cleaner right here on the board. And then after that, talk to it, and it gives you the sheet music to that song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But you don't have to play the whole song, just play the notes that are missing. Which is going to be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah, that's literally all you have to do. <laughs> You know, and after they told me what to do, it's like, oh, I am such an idiot. Why did I not think of that? But it just wasn't clicking for me. I don't know why I didn't try that. So anyways, all that did was it just gave you a piece of the puzzle. Um, which, that, that actually means there's 22 puzzle pieces in this game. So, you know, I, I think the game developers just threw in those two extra pieces just to kind of be nice and cut the player some slack in case they can't find two of them. Because that puzzle plate is actually very important for a lot of these endings. So you're going to have to find that puzzle plate one way or another. And then they just threw in two extra puzzle pieces to uh, kind of cut you some slack and, and give you a little bit of leeway. Where am I? Let's go to... You know what, let's actually go to the lounge first. And uh, I still got to show this off, unfortunately. But I still have yet to fill up this bottle. There's five different places to fill it up. First one's going to be this bottle right here. Just talk to the water bottle. That's going to give you 20%. And the next one's going to be in Cure Room 1-2, which is uh, this door right here. And I've already talked about the events leading up to this. How you have to do all that stuff. Just if you don't know how to get to this point, reference my previous videos, and I, I show how to do everything. Everything I've done, I've recorded, so I don't think I'm missing anything. So that's twenty. Uh, that's forty percent. Excuse me. And the next one's gonna be, I think, in room one eleven. So we'll go grab that as well. One, two, nine, ten. I think it's this room right here. Oh, it's the next one. And again, I've already showed all the events leading up to this with the fly rod, the fishing pole, and doing all that stuff. So just use the bottle here, and that is going to be 60%. Uh, 
So some of these endings coming up are so crazy. Just totally unexpected. And uh, there are some game spoilers coming up that are just so crazy. You know what? I think I've shown this off already, but um, I'm just going to do it again really quick. Only because I didn't save in the right file. So we got that done. Let's go to floor number two. And actually, most of the endings I'm going to be showing in this video are on floor number two. I think six of them. So there's still a lot of stuff to do on the second floor. But we'll take care of a lot of it. Now, unfortunately, for a lot of these endings, I uh, I don't know what triggers them. Uh, so I might be a little bit confused, and I don't know which actions you have to take to actually trigger these endings. I've got a good idea. I'll, I'll let you know what I think, but... I just don't know for for a, a fact. Let me save, actually. Let's do... Okay, I need file 10. I think I need file 9. So let's do file number 8. But anyways, yeah, some of these endings, uh, a lot of them have something to do with either the SD card or the puzzle plate right here. So, you know, you kind of have to switch back and forth between the SD card and the puzzle plate, which I'll show that as well. I'll show that after I complete this bottle. So, you know, I, I might have to backtrack a little bit and kind of figure out what to do again, only because there's so much stuff to do with all of our, all the items. But, you know, I'll make it fast. I'll, we'll get this done. So to get your bottle up to 80%, go over here and just talk to the very last drawer. And that is going to get you a little bit more alcohol. So these game spoilers coming up uh, in the next video I'm going to show. <laughs> I can imagine they're not going to make a lot of people very happy. Um, just just knowing knowing the audience that Tapumsoft uh, draws in. <laughs> you know, it's it's not the happiest ending. Let me just say that. But, you know, all these endings so far have been crazy. It's it's the main character doing different things. Sometimes she looks like a boy. Sometimes she looks like a girl. Sometimes she looks like an alien. And it's it's like, what the hell is going on? But it's it becomes kind of more obvious what's going on once I talk about the game spoilers that are coming up. But again, I, I don't want to talk about them in this video. So now we are on floor number three, and let me save just in case. Let's do file... What was I doing? File number eight. By the way, I love that Tabumsoft gives you eight different save files, because I always use all eight of them. Only because sometimes I like to backtrack. Oh no, don't chase me now. Let me reset this guy really quick. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright. Um... Let me focus here for a second, actually. Shoot, man. Ah, uh, let me... I gotta reset this guy. Let me just walk to the stairs. Am I gonna die again? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me... You know what? Let me turn up the, uh... The brightness as well. Let me get that up a little bit higher. Okay. So. Um. Stop chasing me. Come on. I hate this guy chasing me on the third floor because there's so many puddles. And you can just hear the chase music coming. Okay, he's done. Thank God. Anyways, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, the ending's coming up. It's, they're just, they're going to be crazy, but... Okay, thank God. Please just leave me alone for the rest of this floor. That's one guy I'm not going to miss about this game. <laughs> He's not that bad on the second, first, second floors, but just trying to navigate all these puddles with that guy chasing you, it's it's damn near impossible. In fact, do I have any energy bars? Oh, thank God, I do have some. But that's my last two, so. Anyways, to complete the bottle, just go to the men's restroom on the third floor, and I think it's going to be this stall right here. Let's put the bottle on, talk to the trash can, and this bottle right here is going to actually lead to two different endings, both of which can be a little bit tricky to find. But we'll take care of one of the endings on floor number three first, and then we'll go back to floor number two. 
So just make your way over here. Don't chase me, good. And then let me save again too, just to make sure I'm recording my progress. File number eight. Okay, so what you need for this ending is, I think all you need in your inventory is either the SD card or the full puzzle plate. I think both of which will trigger this ending. But after you have those items in your inventory, just walk in the room you started with 3-1. And then just talk to your silhouette. It's going to be the main character. And this is actually one of the nicer endings. It's a... Uh, I mean, I say nicer, but all I mean is she's not being tortured. She's not dying. She's not killing anybody. So, you know, it's not that bad of an ending. Oh, yeah, this is actually one of the nicer endings. It's just a nice picture of her. And uh, she's just playing with some blocks, so, you know, no complaints there. <laughs> uh, again, I'm not going to read this dialogue, only because it's so broken up. And uh, I want to focus on just the endings as well. So that was ending number 13. So we got that one taken care of. Let's load file number... You know what, let's actually do file number 3, only because we're already on the second floor. That way we don't have to backtrack as much. So now that we have that taken care of, let me talk about the puzzle plate and where you can go to exchange it for the SD card. But it's a... Uh, it can be a little bit confusing because sometimes the SD card leads to an ending, sometimes the puzzle plate leads to an ending, so it's very confusing. And I may have to do a little bit of backtracking and try to find these, these uh, which ones work for what. So I do apologize about that. This is actually going to be a little bit longer of a video but I'll try to make it fast I'll try to keep this as fast as possible just like I do for my typical videos but there's just so much more stuff to do but uh, the next video should be the finale which is crazy but just put the SD card on and it, it goes either way for this point you can either put the puzzle plate in there to get the SD card or vice versa so you know what just to um, just to have it, let's go ahead and hold on to the SD card for now. But I think I will have to come back here to grab the puzzle plate in just a second for one of the other endings. One or two. So let's go ahead and save. And you know what? Let's actually... Oh, wow. I didn't know he could chase me in this corridor. Let me just throw him off really quick. No, he's still chasing me. Come on. <laughs> okay, good. Jeez, man, I'm not going to miss that guy when I'm done with this game. Okay, let's save in file number... Oh, wait a second, I just loaded, so... Let's save in file number one, actually. Okay. After that's done, there's a lot of things we could do right now. All we have to do is pretty much just walk in these rooms and talk to a couple things. But let's take care of... You know what? Actually, let's do this. Let's go up here, go to load, file number three. And I'll show the first ending first. It's going to be in room 2-3, which is going to be right up here. And all you have to do for this ending is it says, I think there is movement in the bed. And you don't even have to have the bottle of alcohol equipped. Just have it in your inventory. Have it already done. And then just talk to the bed, and it's going to lead to one of the sadder endings. Which this this picture right here, this is the main character. Keep that in mind. Like how much that contrasts with the previous ending I just showed of a nice little girl playing with some blocks. It's still the main character, so just keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of alcohol bottles by him. And, uh, so, yeah, one of the sadder ones. But that was ending number seven. So let's go to load. Let's go to file number one. And the next ending I'm going to show is still going to be with the alcohol bottle. But this one could be a little bit trickier to find. In my opinion, this is one of the harder endings to find in the game. First, got to find the bottle, which I think is originally in room 2-3. you got to figure out how to fill it up. And then you also got to figure out that you have to give this bottle to uh, 
to the computer, but there is a little bit of a hint. Just talk to this computer originally, and it says something about giving it alcohol. So what you have to do for this ending is just give the full bottle to this computer. And that is going to lead to ending number eight. So we have three of the eight done for this video, but there's still a lot of stuff to do. And yeah, look at this picture. It's just the main character, kind of like a soldier. And this one actually has a lot of dialogue, so let me just breeze through this really fast. Wow, that is a lot of dialogue. <laughs> so yeah, ending number eight. Let's go to file number one. And then let's do... Uh... We can take care of 15 and 16 at one time, I think, if we have the SD card. Let me look at my inventory. Okay, let's try to do 15 and 16 at the same time, both the endings. So just work your way over to the group therapy room. Oh, shit. And then just make sure you have the SD card in your inventory for this ending. And then uh, if you have the puzzle plate instead of the SD card, you only get ending number 15. As far as I know. But if you have the SD card, it should give me two endings. So let's give that a try and just talk to the main character right here. Okay. So yeah, this is one of the nicer endings too. It's just the main character looking happy in a, a circle of chairs. But then after that, it gets a little bit stranger with ending number 16, which is this picture right here. And it's just some, uh, like the guards monitoring her. And it says uh, they're just observing her movements. And then it talks a little bit more, but uh, I'm not going to bother reading it. Okay. So it says 16, but that was actually ending number 15 and 16. So let me cross those off. And now we have, let's do the, dang, we still have a lot of stuff to do. Let's do the, the art ending, which is one of my favorite endings. This ending is actually pretty neat. So for this ending, all you have to do is first get that statue in the art room, its arm, and then put that metal stick in its back. And then the last thing is just give it this art art supplies for its hand. Oh, no. I oh, Wait, did I do file number one? Let's, uh, let's actually load up file number. I think that was file number eight I was saving in. Oh, shit. I'm back on floor number three, though. You know what? That's fine. That'll give me a chance to talk about some stuff while we're walking there. So just make sure to have the art supplies, and that'll be the last thing we have to give this this guy. So anyways, this game, when you first start playing it, it gives you a warning saying, you know, if you're pregnant, don't play this game. If you have a heart condition, don't play this game. Some stuff like that. So when I first started this game, I thought it was going to be much more jump scare oriented I thought I was going to try to scare the hell out of me, but that's actually not the case. I haven't been too jump scared for this game. There has been one point where I did get kind of a jump scare. The worst one I got was, uh, I could talk about it really quick. We got a, a little bit of walking to do, but the most jump scare I got is, uh, oh shit. Don't go in this room. This is for the next, this is for the spoilers. Those doors are actually unlocked at the top and bottom of floors one and three. But for that ending that you have to get where you have to sit in the room for five minutes with the lights off, I uh, I wasn't expecting that guy to run in after five minutes. And I was kind of waiting for I knew it was going to come, but he comes so fast and the music starts really loud that I had to jump at that point. But other than that, no, no really bad jump scares. OK, what am I doing now? I'm on floor number two now. So let's do the art ending. That's what I was going to do. Let me take a look at my map here. It's going to be the, the very far door in this hallway. And please don't chase me. He is chasing me. Of course he's chasing me. Let me just throw him off really quick because I can't run from this guy in that room. 
He's still chasing me. Okay, good. All right, please do not chase me again. Okay, good. So anyways, this ending, yeah, you, you there's a little bit to uh, build up to it. you got to find the arm, like I said, the, the metal stick, and then also get the charcoal, purify it, and get the art supplies. So there is a lot to do for this ending, but I don't think it's that hard. Just kind of follow the game naturally in its game progression and grab everything. And uh, you should be good to go, but just give this guy the art. And like I said, this is one of my more favorite endings. It's got really cool cool uh, artwork in it. It's just a main character drawing. But what I like about it is, uh, if I can get to it, damn, this is a lot of dialogue again. But what I like about it is she just looks so happy, which, you know, it's really neat to see that. I don't like the picture she's drawing. But she looks really happy, which I like. So that was ending number... Number nine. Okay, so we got that one taken care of. So now there is two more endings I want to show in this video. Let's go to load. Let's go to file number one. And let's do... What am I missing now? after loading the chip let's go to let's make sure I have the SD card definitely and then let's go to first floor laboratory now unfortunately about this ending I don't know exactly what triggers it um, because I have had like a, a file just to play around on and I couldn't get this to trigger I don't know what triggers it but I think just follow everything I've done in these videos, and it's something does trigger it. I just don't know exactly what it is. But just come in this room, and then just talk to uh, talk to this thing on the ground, and then a guard pops in, and uh, the main character is just gonna immediately kill him and start laughing. So this is one of the more horrific endings. And it kind of looks like, that looks like Gwen. So anyways, that was ending number 12. So we got that one taken care of. And I think I've already shown seven of the eight endings I wanted to show. So uh, let's go to load, file number one. And for this last ending I want to show, this one was pretty tricky to find. Um, so I'll talk about how you can find this one and how I found it, but go back to the first floor. Make sure you have the SD card in your inventory. And then you had to have done all the endings previous to this one. So all the other endings I showed, you had to do those before doing this ending or else it was not going to let you do it. After that, just make sure you have the SD card. I think I already said that, but make your way back to this room right here where there's already been two other endings, the emergency room. But just use that SD card on this computer right here. You could have done it before, but it always said there wasn't enough information on the card unless you did those other endings. So use the card right here. And, uh... It does give you a chance to save, which is actually pretty nice. I already have a save file, so I'm not going to worry about it. But for this ending I'm going to show, just uh, just let the guard capture you yet again, which you've already actually done for an ending. But if you, if you let him catch you again after putting that SD card in there, it leads to this ending right here, which I think is ending number, number three, which I was stuck on ending number three. I had every other one. And I could not figure it out, but I finally got it. And I'm sure there's going to be more endings with that SD card for the other three I'm missing. But I'll get to that for the next video, which the next video is going to be the finale video. And anybody watching that wants to put in the comments what to do for those last three pictures, for these three missing, I don't know what to do yet. I want to figure it out on my own, so I'm not going to look at the comments till I do. I'll look if I need help, but I think I should be able to figure it out for myself. 
But you can leave in the comments what to do. I, I, uh, I don't care about spoilers. So that is it for the first 16. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.